do not miss your opportunity to win our 2008 Subaru WRX STI project. For every $1 you spend on our website, whether you're buying performance parts or merchandise, gives you an entry to win the car. There's less than three weeks left to enter, so hurry up, click the link in our description, grab something today, and secure your entries. Thank you guys so much for listening and supporting us. We appreciate it. Now back to the video. What is going on guys and welcome back to another awesome video on the STI. Now today it's just me because Mickey has been out sick for the past like four or five days. So in today's video, we are going to be installing a brand new set of StopTech rotors. We got sport pads, we got lines, uh, we got brand new fluid, and we got something to refinish our brake calipers. Now a long time ago, if you're an OG, you probably remember this, I made a video on how to repaint brake calipers the easiest way and I got flamed because I did not take off the brake calipers, but that's because I was making a video about the easiest way. So in today's video, we're gonna show you the correct way to refinish brake calipers from start to finish and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride every step of the way. All right, so I just unboxed the StopTech rotors. As you can see here, we have slotted rotors all around. Um, these are the front brakes, which you can see are quite a bit bigger. These are actually pretty massive. And then these are the rear brakes here. And they do come with uh, an oil on all the surfaces just to make sure that there's no oxidation or anything like that. So um, we'll be, be sure to hit these up with some brake parts cleaner and remove all that uh, right before we get going. But uh, one other thing, you might notice this little chest strap. So we're gonna go ahead and try something new on this video which is gonna be a combination of the Sony camera we're on and the GoPro so here we go let's give this a try All right, now that the wheels are off, the spacers are off, now it's time to remove these calipers. Now what's really cool is these actually have this like side design system so you can actually pull the pads out and swap them out without having to take the caliper off. But because we're gonna be refinishing this and we're gonna be replacing the rotors, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just remove everything. Any fluid that leaks on the ground, we'll try to keep catching like a cup or something. I'll set you guys down and we'll go ahead and get that started. All right, so I just finished masking off the calipers. Um, now, this is not for painting. This is just so I don't sandblast and get anything into areas that I don't want it to. So I will be focusing on the areas that you're going to be seeing, like the front face, the back, the, uh, the top, and I'm not going to be spraying inside where the piston is. I don't wanna mess anything up with the seals, but I'm just gonna mask it because it's really not that bad in there, but I really wanna focus on getting the main sections of the calipers like this, where the clear coat is peeling and blasting it off so it's a nice clean surface. So once that is nice and clean and blasted, uh, we'll use some acetone and we'll do a primer, base coat, 
then the floral yellow, and then a really nice high quality clear. So I can't really stress enough that prep is going to be the key here as with almost all paint stuff. Your outcome is gonna be based on how much prep work you do. It's as simple as that. So prep your stuff, clean stuff really thoroughly, and I'm sure the results are gonna be good. Clear coat is really, really tough. Ricky's here to save the day. I'm trying to. Although it might rain outside. Yeah, we might gonna... not be able to get to paint because it's really, really nasty outside and it's the temperature dropped like crazy in the last couple of minutes. But I'm still gonna keep at least prepping and hopefully we get a break tonight or tomorrow when I come in, I'll be able to lay down some paint. So while Ricky is finished prepping the calipers, I'm gonna go ahead and install the StopTech uh, stainless steel brake lines. These lines that have been in here have seen better days. They definitely are the original lines and uh, with a steel line, you're gonna get a little bit better foot pressure and I mean, it just looks really old. So uh, I'm gonna take out the factory line and we'll replace it with the StopTech kit, which comes with all of the uh, parts you need to get it done. So here we go. Some of the things we noticed when we got the car back is that um, we heard a, a, a scraping on the tire, like something was rubbing, and then we realized that uh, this wheel well is, uh, is wasn't attached properly. I believe when we sent it to SOS Custom, we just put a couple of zip ties just to hold it in place because we thought it was gonna be removed. Oh, one thing I noticed that this thing is kind of like stepping down, so I'm probably gonna end up cutting this portion of it off, uh, and then I'm gonna be bolting it on the way it's supposed to. And then um, later on, in the next couple of days, we're probably gonna finish making a wheel well that uh, goes all the way to the end, to the bumper, out of uh, additional plastic. And we're probably gonna keep going all the way over here so we can just have all this cover, which we've done before. So I cleaned this with the uh, Meguiar's degreaser, the citrus degreaser. Uh, this is the uh, the cooling plate for the brakes uh, this that uh, Evans painted, which looks freaking awesome. Uh, I ended up scrubbing everything in this area with the greaser. You guys can see there, that was a clear water. And some of citrus power from my wires. And it's just a scuff brush and it literally came out super, super, super clean. Um, I may just uh, put some type of uh, uh, cleaner on top of it uh, with a quick rack so it can look better. And that's it from here. We're gonna be putting the, the brake disc on and maybe probably one lug nut just so I can hold it in place. And then whenever we get the calipers painted, then we'll install that after. But since I got this side done, let me go get the other side done. That way we can be even. A little later. Here it is with the rotor on. Have it nice and clean. Ready for the caliper. All right guys, so I pretty much did the same thing that I did on the other side. I, I spread everything with the greaser, I cleaned it all up. I still gotta wipe it down. I'm gonna be putting the rotor on the rear. I'm gonna wipe everything down so I can look brand new, then I'll show you again. And just like that, everything looks brand new again. Once again, waiting on the caliper to be hooked up. I'm sure Ev or uh, Mickey will pick up in the morning to finish the other side. All right guys, so I'll see you tomorrow. What is up guys, it is the next day and look who decided to show up. Yeah, I didn't die after all. You're feeling better, which is awesome. 
I'm really looking forward to getting all the rest of the parts put on the car because I think that's what's going to bring it together. And I think the fluoro yellow hits that we're about to put on this thing are really going to make this thing jump. So I think the last thing Ricky did last night was getting all the calipers completely prepped. And today we're going to be um, shooting them with a white base coat and then a highlighter yellow, the fluoro yellow that is going to be our, our accent color for the whole build. So um, you can see them here all prepped up ready to go. I'm gonna pass the camera over to Mickey and he's gonna show you guys how it's done. What are making, Mick? Well, the California weather isn't uh, cooperating so we can't do our usual paint outside in an open environment so gotta recreate Ricky and I's old famous paint booth. Making this little system actually knocks down a lot of the overspray and that sort of thing in the shop. Sort of finishing up with our little makeshift uh, painting area here. Did go ahead and get out my uh, heat gun. It's here, which is plumbed into the box here. And also we moved this to the top and we've got our vacuum in place here. We're gonna go ahead and get these calipers painted right now. Alright guys, so quick little update while the fourth caliper is back there drying a bit. Uh, the other three are here, also just drying away. Uh, I went ahead and actually grabbed our hella horns because these are going to go on the front of the car uh, underneath the grill work up there. What I did was I went ahead and took them off. These came red. Went ahead and disassembled the face of them off of the horn itself and went ahead and used a little bit of scotch bright and just uh, scuffed it up a little bit. We've also got a Grim Speed uh, horn kit as well here. These are gonna all go on the car in uh, the next video. So I'm getting these uh, horn grills prepped to paint fluorescent yellow just like the calipers. I'm gonna go ahead and get to sanding. Come outside in the office for one second and look what they did. Cool. Who made these? You made these? I made them at the house and Nikki uh, placed them on the couch. That one? Or that one? I think it'll fit. That's it's pretty big, close. That big boy. I think we I think this, this smaller one. one fits a little bit better. So you, you painted them floor yellow. We got a sticker you're going to put on and then you clear coat? Clear over it. Yeah. Clear over it so and that, that seals it, it in basically. It. There you have it. Mix just got done putting the throttle log on the calipers and it's my turn to do the clear coat. For the clear coat to dry on the calipers we went ahead and took the front bumper off because tomorrow we've got the headlights getting worked on from fly ride he's coming down so we pulled those out 
they're sitting over there. We went ahead and tossed the front mount air cooler back on, which was easy because the bar was already in place that comes with the kit. We installed that before the paint shop. And then Ricky and I grabbed the Grim Speed Bro Tie, which is for our twin Hella horns, which I showed you guys earlier. We painted the grills for that. Floral yellow. Oh yeah. And so we used the new hardware, got this mounted, and what this is is uh, two provisions for uh, the Hella horns, one on each side of the grill. And then they also send along this awesome wiring harness, which is a plug and play affair. So Ricky, pretty cool. Ricky's got the ground there. I've got the power source. This plugs into the factory horn wire. Like that. And then you just zip tie it out of the way over here on the core support brace. Side note, there is a horn over here as well underneath the passenger side headlight. You can either just leave that plugged in or eliminate it as we have. Now we can um, yeah, add, the ground. add the ground. So we'll find a place to ground this, probably just right here, right there underneath. And uh, then one of these goes to each horn. Correct. One of these goes to each horn with power. That's it. And we should be good to go. Done. We went ahead and reached in our box of parts, grabbed our Grim Speed pitch stop part to basically eliminate the rock of the engine. So Ricky's pulling that out real quick, and we're gonna go ahead and swap it out with this nice new Grim Speed part. Should be a nice little upgrade. How's it look? So I just took this out, I don't know, you can see. It is plastic, huh? Yeah. It's plastic, I can't it believe that. It is straight plastic. Oh, it does say STI. Yeah, barely, but it says Crazy, it. so it must, the STI version must have a stiffer rubber, I'm guessing. So this one's built aluminum, got the yep. nice little Grim Speed logo on it, urethane bushings. Yep. The next day. It's the next day, how'd they turn out? That looks freaking awesome. So I can't wait too much longer. I really want to see these things on the car. I know Ricky got um, the rotors basically all mounted up. I think all the new brake lines are on. We're gonna do a little test fit of the calipers on the car. All right, well that is going to do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. We've got a lot of work to do on this car. Ricky and Mickey are knocking out projects, but if you are interested in following along with the STI build, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Give us a like and a comment down below. Remember, get your entries in because the sweepstakes is gonna be ending in less than three weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.